What's up everybody, this is All Things Bear 510, and today we bringing you a review from Santa Rosa, California, North Bay. This is Hen House Bruins, big, big chicken. Hen House Bruin, chicken, big, big chicken. <laughs> big chicken is a, a triple IPA, even though sometimes I see the you know, double IPA, but it's a triple IPA, uh, brewed with Citra, Nelson, Mosaic, and Simcoe, so big, big beer, 10.3, 10.3%, super, super fresh beer, get that big, big, big sign right there, um, super excited about this, I had this beer in 2017, like at a, um, not a share, but like, you know, probably like during beer week a couple years ago, um, this is a big release for the Bay Area, uh, and it seems to get you know, hints on the word. It's, it seems to get bigger and bigger every year. Uh, I've never reviewed a Hen House beer, but Hen House, to be honest, is one of my favorites in the Bay Area. I mean, they make really good IPAs, some good uh, stouts, some good saisons, just a well, um, they do just a lot of everything, right? Pilsners, uh, I think they have some lagers. Uh, um, they just do everything really well, right? And IPAs, in my opinion, um, especially like their IPAs or double IPAs, um, they're really good and they're on par with some of the best in the Bay Area. So if you are in the Bay Area or you are in, you know, North Bay wine country and you're going to Russian River, you have to stop by Hen House Brewing. Um, I really think they're like underrated when it comes to, you know, all of the Bay Area. There was a big line at the gala for this when they uh, released it at eight o'clock that night. I did not get in line uh, to get it knowing I was going to get me a can and review it. And this is the first time I've had this year's release. Um, and a lot of people are really excited about this year's release. Um, it was canned on 2-1. They have like Big Chicken Day, which is February 6th. Um, and so this is only a week old. And so really excited about this, man. Just great looking beer. West Coast IPA. They do have a few beers that are sometimes on the hazy side. Um, but for the most part, they just do West Coast you know, traditional, hazy, they just, you know, I, you know, and shout out to the, uh, my guy Sayer, um, who's, uh, down with the team over there at Hen House, shout out to my guy Colin, uh, who's one of the brewers at Hen House, and just the whole team, uh, just good people, um, and like I said, first time I've ever reviewed a beer from them, but I've had a lot, a lot of IPAs, they're one of my go-tos, we get them a lot in the East Bay, so if you look at this, and I can smell this, it smells traditional West Coast, just super hot bomb. Um, one one thing that I'm seeing is like this is Hen House's version of triple IPA, right? Oh man, you just yeah, you get all the hops just in this big citrus notes, big you know melon notes, big tropical notes. Just you know, just layers and layers and layers of character and flavor just on the smell alone. Um, West Coast, you know, triple IPA, one thing about the Bay Area, and all of West Coast, but really in the Bay Area, we do Imperials and, and triple IPAs really, really well. They're, people love their IPAs here. People love their Imperial and triple IPAs here. And a lot of breweries really do, like, quality, great, world-class IPAs, double IPAs and triples, in my opinion. Sometimes you lose a lot of the... Um, you know, a lot of the beer when it gets to the triple side and it becomes like overly sweet and malt forward. Um, not one of my favorites, but I don't think that's what this is. Let's stop talking. Salute. Um, let's get a taste. Cheers. Man. Man. It's just, I, you know, one thing about, I did a, a review, not a review, like a talk. Couple years ago about Pliny the Elder. This is, you know, people say this is their younger, and how people just, you know, with all the hazies coming out, you know, people forget about like just West Coast IPAs, and I think there's a place for both of them, West Coast and Northeast. This is just a well-made triple or double imperial IPA, just a well, well-made. First of all, it's not overly sweet. It gets, you know, 10.3 is a huge, huge beer, but at the same time, it's very it has, you know, like I said, tropical notes, some melon notes, some citrus notes. You know, I'm, I'm getting, you know, like I said, the citrus, but I'm also getting just like some cantaloupe. Yeah, just some cantaloupe, some honeydew. And then you get that, that little bit of dankness letting you know, hey, this is West Coast. We don't fucking play around here, right? Like, this is a West Coast triple IPA by you just... You know, if you circle, 
you look for West Coast IPA, I'm scrambling my words. If you look for West Coast Triple IPA in the dictionary, this is it, right? Like, this is a Triple IPA. Like, it's subtle, right? Like, it doesn't taste like a 10.3. It tastes maybe, I, this could, if you told me this was like 8, I would say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's easier drinking. Of course, I would not say drink, you know, three or four of these a day. This is for maybe late night sipping or like lunch sipping with a big lunch like I'm about to have right now. Just you get oranges, tangerines, honeydew, and then just that nice dankness, that nice, you know, uh, pine uh, West Coast flavor. I got to save some of this for the picture, right? Um, yeah, just just a great beer. You know, a lot of people are saying, make my beer clear again. And one thing I can say, man, there's some great breweries who don't who don't get always the the national acclaim. But, you know, Hen House, Altamont, um, some breweries who um, still do like great West Coast IPAs um, and West Coast beer. And um, I can appreciate that. Right. And even Alvarado Street or Cellar Maker, like. Yes, they do hazies too, but every now and then they'll let you know and fill the work too. Like that's why I like uh, that's why I like a lot about a lot of my favorite breweries. They can do a lot of different shit. It's not oh this is our main go to. You know they do everything well. One of my favorite hops, sorry, one of my favorite hops is Nelson. I get this in this. Uh, one of my favorite hops is Mosaic. I'm not a big Simcoe fan. Uh, like I don't like a lot of Simcoe single hop beers. Citra, of course, that goes without saying. But um, Nelson is. When done right, Nelson is great. Um, this kind of reminds me, <coughs> sorry, a little bit of Triple Mount Nelson from Cellar Maker, which is a triple IPA, triple uh, Nelson hop, single IPA, which I might be reviewing. Um, yeah, so just just great beer, man. Um, salute to you guys, Hen House. I'll be reviewing more. Like I said a couple videos ago, I'm going to start trying to do way more just barrier or West Coast beers, whether that's L.A. or Seattle or Oregon. Um, just want to, you know, focus and concentrate on what we get here. And at the same time, I'll still review, you know, stuff that gets sent to me and the big, big, you know, wells. And at the same time, but bring it home too. And, um, shots out to you, Hen House, Big Chicken, 2019 release. Guys, this is a bomb, 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 bomber flames. Thank you. Take care. 100. Peace.